Hey guys, yes, I'm only doing cold of the grass for absolutely no reason. I figure if I'm outside, it makes it a vlog and not a room tour. Because if I just sit down, walk around with camera spinning you around until you get dizzy inside the same space you, you all see on a daily, weekly, monthly, every video basis, is it really a vlog? That is the real question. <laughs> And what really is a vlog? Vlog is never, it doesn't interest me because it's, it's becoming brave, you know, it's really. It's putting yourself out there. It's taking a big ass camera to a Walmart on a Tuesday after evening at 9 p.m. right before the close. But I want to be brave. I want to do those shopping vlogs. I want to find things that are interesting, but I mean, it feels like with a vlog, especially in today's YouTube culture, you gotta be interesting in some way. Or you make something and hope that people think that you're interesting. I'm crawling through some grass. Maybe that does make you interesting. I don't know. But, um, oh shit. Crap on a cracker. So glad that portal was there. Here we are back in the leg room. And while this, that beginning may have felt pointless to you guys, I totally understand that. Uh, because we're in here and what usually would be a room tour, just it's not. Um, but I got some cool behind the scenes updates. That's really why I'm vlogging here and army crawling through the grass, being creative. So let's kind of show you kind of behind the scenes. There's also some gear that I got, which is going to make better content. So this is hopefully the last vlog on this camera. And like I kind of already said, I kind of want to do more of this, but I want to get outside of the Lego room. And the building step was actually being outside and eventually maybe doing some shopping vlogs at a, like a late night at a Walmart or Target. That could be kind of fun, especially during clearance season, because man, you got to get those sets. But speaking of clearance season, this week I am going live building one of my clearance sets. Actually, at the time I'm recording this, it will be tomorrow. And, or by the time I get this edited, it's probably the same day. I got the Brachiosaurus for really before peak clearance season, just some good deals at Target. But I want you to, I want, I want you to let me know. Do you do you prefer paying full price for Lego sets, or do you like to buy them during clearance season when they're all on sale? Uh, let me know down in the comments. But let's kind of get into what's behind the scenes. After I turn on the light, because the whole thing here is um, I was really drowning out. Uh, we're working on getting um, upgrading gear. So before we kind of get into what's behind the scenes, which is what I'm kind of showing you right now. Before I show you too much about what I'm kind of working on, which we're gonna get to in just a moment, I want to show you a little bit of what I got to help make better content. Now. Better content isn't the gear that you use, but it's the little improvement. Uh, they always say that you should have an idea of what you're doing before you press record, and that's true. But be better gear that's a little bit newer helps. So right here, over here, I have a brand new camera that I've shot a couple videos and you've probably seen on, and the difference probably isn't that remarkable to uh, the average viewer. But if you're a tech camera person, you probably notice a little bit. Uh, this does shoot in 4K, and I shoot all my videos now in 4K. It also shoots wide and has better autofocus. So figures, when I'm reviewing, are going to be easier to keep in focus, which means a lot less editing for me, a lot less cutting out and reshooting because things aren't in focus. Um, and then it has a wide-angle lens. Now, what does that mean for you, the viewer? That just means that I can have the camera closer when I have a mic mounted, so you can hear me a little bit better, and then you get an extra better picture. That's generally what that means. But I'm excited to kind of get into making more content with this new camera and seeing how it impacts. But we're gonna go through a little bit of what I'm working on. Right here, which this video is probably out by now, this is the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian sets that came out in June. I'm doing them as a two-in-one review, so you should already see that. But that's kind of what I'm working on here. This cool. Uh, spinning dial, which is really cool for the minifigures. I really like that I picked that up and it wasn't super expensive. I'm working on writing the script and shooting this review over here. And then I got, I have the Spider-Man set that I built last week on my live stream that I'm working on reviewing as well. I'm trying to get 
the No Way Home set for a good clearance price. I just haven't seen it anywhere around me. I've heard some people getting it for like 60 bucks, which is about the goal that I'm trying to get it at. Uh, both that and the Endgame set with the new molded Thanos. I really want to pick both those up, but I don't want to pay full price. But we'll see if they're at the brick show that I'm going to later uh, in August. But here's like the real big question is, do you struggle with keeping things neat like I do? And I'm sure we've discussed this before, but this is the backlog shelf. And that, I mean, I got a pile of sets that I might want to sell. I haven't fully decided on that. And then all the sets I've built that need to be reviewed. And it's gotten so bad that it's not organized. It's got a wig from a Gandalf costume in there. It's got empty containers, $2 cash. Why? Because I put it there. And then we have the Thai Bomber down here and more camera gear all over the place. And some of the sets that need to be reviewed are over here. And on this table. Or they did get reviewed in the spot. I didn't find a spot that I wanted to put them on the shelf. And I'm sorry the shelf is a little out of focus. See, this is why I got a better camera. I have this issue. It's just... Here, put the light back over there. But like, the Venator is sitting over there. It's definitely not going to fit that little shelf. But I've had it done for seven months now and I got a light kit for it sent to me with a code for you guys uh, I became a brand ambassador but I, I haven't shared it because I want to share it when I do this video and then do a video about the light kit but I haven't been able to do that so my point, whole point is that I need to clean this space up and I need to do a really uh, good job of getting at least my goal is this next shelf so I'm going to fix this shelf real quickly, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I am back uh, with the shelf, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here is the new... Uh, it's not, it still has the same sets on it, it just has a lot less junk. It's a little cleaned up. Now it still has a $2 cash up there, a, a folder with some directions in it, some envelopes that I don't need, but it's a work in progress, and just a few minutes of work made this a lot better uh, but these are all still uh, sets to be reviewed and th that's my form of a backlog is I'm always building but I'm not always making the videos that I plan or that I want to be but there's less on the floor there's still a pile of boxes there's still stuff that doesn't need to be there that's kind of still in the way but we're making progress we still have a pile of sets over here some have been reviewed some haven't but the venator is still not fitting over there and never will but uh, stay tuned because the, I am I've I'm working on the review to uh, come out very very soon. Usually when I'm vlogging like this, there is a room door that is just not this video. So like, subscribe, the usual YouTube stuff. 